welcome. Today we're going to look at the history of print shop. I managed to pick up a uh, older version of the print shop from the thrift store for a couple dollars or a little less. And I just wanted to see if it still would work. Uh, I think this one came out in 2011, something like that. Print Shop 3 Deluxe. And this one has the Encore name on the back of it, which uh, we'll go through on the history and show you where that came from. So we'll just go full screen here. So basically Print Shop was released back in 1986, maybe a little bit before, uh, on the Apple, the Commodore 64, Atari and it was an MS-DOS version as well. It came back in the mid 80s. It uh, came from the very first version that was developed for Apple. And then in 1992, the print shop uh, deluxe version came out and it was basically the first one that came out that supported the, the earliest version of Windows like Windows uh, 3.0 and 3.1. Then in 1994, there was another version, Print Shop Deluxe version 2. Uh, Print Shop Deluxe 3 came out in 1996. It's a little bit confusing that uh, some of the newer versions are still called Print Shop Deluxe, and there's even a Print Shop Deluxe, but it's 3.0 and not the Roman numeral 3, but it's uh, a little bit confusing. They're reusing some of the names uh, after they got sold off and, and were kind of re-distributed re by another company. Then Print Shop 551, 1997. Print Shop Deluxe 661 in 1998. And uh, then we started getting into the more modern ones. Print Shop uh, version 10, 1999. Print Shop Deluxe version 15, 2002. And then there was a bunch of other ones uh, in between 15 and 23, a few that came out in different versions between there. I didn't uh, take pictures of them all, but the current version, it seems like, uh, is Print Shop version 23. And although it's been tweaked a bit to work with Windows, it really hasn't uh, had many enhancements. Basically the same product that you could buy in and have the features in, in in 2008 and now it's just uh, been updated maybe to work with Windows 10 and those kind of things that that it would be lacked uh, in some of the the, ver the the initial version of 2023 and then you'll see down here the current version is 23.1 and you can actually go buy this it uh, they want enough for it even though uh, it's basically the same version that was 2008 and really hasn't been enhanced, they basically want the same price you would have paid for it pretty much in 2008 as far as the dollar value. And uh, they, they do have some other versions. Uh, Encore started developing different versions that would be have a slightly different interface. And that's actually one of the ones I ended up with from the thrift store was Print Shop 3 and from 2011 and now they have, they have a Print Shop 4, there are 3, 3, 5, 4, 5 and currently 6 which kind of have a different, slightly different interface um, maybe a little more modern Windows interface the, uh, the 23 is more based on the legacy ones that were Maybe going back to the version 10, that kind of thing, with the the, the and the house has some clip art built into it because the, the version 23.1 I was able to find had uh, two DVDs and one of them was a basically a clip art. The the trouble with the one I got that was three is it basically uses the clip art online, so I was able to install it okay. But uh, it won't be able, it wasn't able to uh, 
load any of the clip art because it, whatever connection or server they were using at the time, um, when you try and use it, it just basically will not connect. So perhaps they got a different web address or a different server address uh, that is supposed to pull it from this and it just can't find it. It also can't seem to register properly, so it kind of bugs you to register when you first install it. Uh, it does install on Windows 10. So the basic functionality of the program there, but if you wanted the clip art or the templates that are online or something like that, you cannot use those. So. But but yeah, basically in the early 2000s, uh, budget software publisher Encore acquired the trademark of Broaderbund. So basically that was the basically they sell off of Broaderbund, even though they they maintain the Broaderbund logo on the box and even do to this day. It it's really. Uh, comes from Encore now, and you'll probably see their logo on on the newer the versions. It actually has it on the bottom of the box on the uh, 23 and maybe some of the other newer ones. It will have it Encore on the back of the box. So basically, you know that that's a republished uh, software product. So, as I said, it installs okay. I was, maybe we'll give you uh, an idea what it looks like and how the clip art does not really work. So, I'll see if I can go back to the. So, you'll see you have 23.1 and 3.0 Deluxe. So, I'll try 3.0 Deluxe. So here's what you get. You can select the project type, like if you wanted to do a flyer, but you can't get any uh, ready-made project files or templates or any of the clip art. So basically your only choice is to start a new blank project. And here you can choose what kind of project it is. Let's go with the sign. But if you also try, and you can add things like text and those things that are built into the application. But if you try clip art, it basically says internet required connections required to access the clip art. And no matter what you try, it doesn't seem to work. The help. take you to printshop.com but if you go help that also doesn't seem to work because it seems to want to go online to go on usa.com so perhaps this site has changed or doesn't exist anymore go on usa.com slash 741 probably likely has changed so Perhaps the newer versions, maybe like five or six or something, maybe this does work. But if you're buying an older version, uh, be aware that basically some of the fun online functionality uh, just does not work. But if we close this version, here's version 23. It says 2010 Encore software. So even this, oh, even though this is 23 and the other one was three, three is newer, but uh, this one at least uh, it might be the patch version that, that allows you to see things online. But it does basically work. Create a new project. Let's go with a sign. So here you'll see that we actually have some signs. These, these are probably the ones that are built in. That if you go down far enough, you'll see available online. But when, it does seem to work. So if you go here, you can pull it up. And it seems to be able to go online. I don't know if everything works, but it. Uh, 
does a little bit more than the other one. Blank page here, so if you, then if you go, but you'll see that the the menu is a little differently on the side here. You can uh, see how it has different options that the other one does not have. So this is a different layout. So we go art and photos. Insert art, you basically have clip art that's available. Same as the uh, projects, you can select them. Some of these clip art are resident and it may, may ask you to insert the second DVD uh, if you try and use them, or there are other ones that uh, say available online. seems to pull it up okay but you'll see that the, the graphics are a bit dated compared to what you can probably do with more modern tools uh, a lot of the online uh, flyer makers and that probably have more professional looking real life uh, looking graphics maybe with, maybe with all different backgrounds and different uh, shading in the back as well so but this is more more or less what you would have got uh, back in the mid-2000s, maybe something like that. A lot of this clip art probably dates back to that or before. So that's how they all work. So as you can see, so you, you, you want a certain version of, it does say it's PrintShop 23.1 here. So you want at least that version if you want uh, the one with the built-in clip art. And the other one, I'm not sure about. Uh, you probably want at least uh, five or six. I think they're still selling both those versions. They actually have, if you search for Broderbund and Print Shop, you can go and uh, to their site and, and see the different versions that they sell. Design and Print Shop Deluxe 6. So basically they want $50 for that. And you'll see that this is the Encore badge one. They also have the 23 Deluxe and 23 Pro Publisher. I think one of these two, they'll, tell, they'll have a comparison of the... Basically, a comparison of the Print Shop Classic Deluxe and Professional. And again, these clip art images are likely online for at least the 6.0 version. The 23 basically is what I've shown you there. And the compatibility with the different versions, too, if you're using any of the really old ones. You might need to have a certain version to be compatible with like 2, 3, 3, 4, and 5, but anything 10 or higher, uh, 23 will load. And they also acquired uh, the, the competing product, Printmaster, at one time so they can load, 23 can load uh, uh, file save with that version as well of, uh, of the print program. So I think that's all for it. Or is to for today and I just let, wanted to let you know that when you look at uh, these older versions of print shop you have to be careful if you find one to buy make sure that you get an updated one uh, otherwise you'll have to basically buy the buy the update I guess to get everything to work properly uh, probably if you find a new enough one in the box you might be okay but but be aware that uh, not all the features work on the older versions, especially the online features. So that's it for today.